Just did a bad thing. Not bad, impulsive. Hey friends, what's up? It's Abby. So today I did a thing. I've been thinking about this since like the beginning of the semester when everyone pulled out their iPads during class and I pulled out a notebook. Nah, I, I spoiled the surprise already. I got an iPad, thank you all. I am now poor. I bought it from Best Buy and I price matched it for like Walmart. Could have gone to Walmart. Oh, it was Walmart and Costco, so I really couldn't have. So I price matched it. And so here's what I got. I got a screen protector, a glass one. Will record me putting it on, might be crooked. I also got an Apple pencil because I got my iPad for mainly school stuff, but fun stuff can also happen on my iPad. A case for my iPad. Hopefully it fits. The Apple expert at Best Buy <laughs> um, told me it would, and I got this, an iPad. I wanted it in gold, but I got it in space gray because they had 49 units of space gray and zero units of gold. Let's open it up, shall we? I changed the angle because this angle might be better, so I just took the plastic off, and now I'm gonna open it. iPad unveiling. Beautiful. So here's what it looks like. Fresh in the box, ah! super cute, space I know. Gray. You can see my phone. It is space gray, not gold like I wanted, if but you got it, I think guess if you what, got it, I got- silver, the face would have been white because my face is white. Oh, that's okay, I like the black face better. Oh, anyway. I like the white face better. I also got a gold case, so I'm not too mad about the space gray because then I would have gotten a white face and then that would have just been not my shiny moment. So unwrapping the plastic. I'd also like to know I am not a tech reviewing YouTube channel, so therefore don't come at me in the comments for putting a screen protector on incorrectly because you're about to watch me put a screen protector on incorrectly. Sorry about it. So here is the new iPad. I already got a fingerprint on it. Ah! I'm gonna put the screen protector on because that is actually a smart idea. Slight angle change to put the screen protector on, but I will be putting the screen protector on. It's just the Invisible Shield Gas Plus Extreme Glass Plus Extreme Impact and Scratch Protection for 10.2 inch iPad, seventh generation. The Apple expert told me it would fit on here, and if it doesn't, I can return it. It has smudge resistance, scratch resistance, ion matrix, and it has bubble free application adhesive. Oh my gosh. My nail polish just came off. Oh, here's a screen protector. How do I? Let me read the instructions, hang on. I have to like actually read the instructions. There's an unnecessary amount of packaging around this. Actually, it might be necessary. Glass break. Yeah, it might be necessary so the glass doesn't break, but I feel like it's a lot. Here is the screen protector. This is the instructions that I will read in a second. My cloth a wet wipe and a dust sticker. I guess it doesn't have a bumper thing. Might put this on crooked. Guys, now I'm actually gonna get a hate comment. Okay, remove any accessories from your phone. Use included screen cleaning wipe and microfiber cloth to screen your screen com to clean your screen completely. So here is the wipe. There it is. This has streak this is streaky. And the microfiber cloth comes after. I think that's good. And then, oh my gosh, there's more. <gasps> there's dust everywhere, guys. Oh no, I can see it all. I think I got all the dust with my dust removal sticker. Okay, so after that, I peel and align, and then I apply and I take off the yellow. Oh my gosh, we are getting to the dramatic part. And I am peeling off layer one. Cannot touch. Oh my gosh, my hair! My hair! We are getting contacts. And we have contact. And it's definitely crooked. Ugh. There we go! I think it's on there straight, guys. And then watch it as it applies itself. It's applying itself, guys. I never apply myself. There's a fatty air bubble in this. Can I use it to get rid of this effing air bubble? Why is this air bubble so large? I'm actually kind of mad about it. Please leave the building. Okay, can you all see this air bubble? It's giant. Maybe it's the air bubble on the yellow. No, it's the air bubble on here. Do I just live with an air bubble now? Go, be free. Here's the final review. Oh, there's more air bubbles. Nice try. 
to myself. I have three air bubbles. It says the ma, the little air bubbles will go away in 24 hours. I'm hoping these are small enough to go away. I did it. You can see all my fingerprints, but I did it. Everybody, thank you. Not only God, but also Jesus. And then I'm gonna clean this off one more time with the cleaning stuff that it gave me for my screen because I made it, oh my gosh, the bubble came back. Because I made it dirty by touching with my freaking fingers, I am going to put the case on while we are here putting things on my iPad. So it's just a spec case. It was on sale for like, I actually don't know how much it's on sale for. I think it's like pinkish, goldish, super cute. It's clear on the other side. I didn't want one that closed, but then I thought about it and I was like, I think that a case that closes is actually smarter than getting a case that doesn't close. And the only case that didn't close was an otter box and I hate putting otter boxes together because they're like seven pieces. And I'm confused all the time. So here's the spec case. It comes with a clasp thing. And then it's uh, pink and clear on the back and it's like cloudy clear. Oh wait, hang on, what? I'm confused. Oh, it comes off so the camera. That's cool. And then it, it's cloudy, clear, and pink on the back, and then it's pink on the front. I'm just gonna put this in the case now with all of my fingerprints. I haven't even turned on this iPad yet. I didn't even turn it on yet. This is crazy, I have an iPad. Cute. I love it. Okay, I just cleaned up my workspace a little bit so there wasn't a big mess while I was trying to set up my iPad, but I'm going to power on my iPad now. And also I bought an Apple Pencil, so I'm going to also connect my Apple Pencil, possibly. That's super cool. Oh, hello. Hello, iPad. And I'm English, United States. It may take a few minutes to activate my iPad. And I'm setting up Touch ID. So I'm going to finish setting up my iPad off screen and then I will come back and set up my Apple Pencil and also get some apps with you guys. If you hear anything in the back, it's my sister watching 50 First Dates, but I set up my iPad. Um, some of the apps I deleted because why would I need maps on my iPad? And uh, this is what I have, I ended up with. And I only have one page of apps because I hate more than like two and I got it to one and I put them in rainbow order because I am that girl. And now I'm going to set up my apple pencil i'd also like you to remember to not mind the crusty nails because my nails are in fact crusty and i get it so i'm just going to cut open my apple pencil and get on with it so here is the apple pencil unwrapped okay i like the look of the first generation ones better than the second generation I ones know. anyways so i'm glad that this one was compatible with the first generation oh my gosh it's so cute because the second generation ones look like i know they're like magnetic but they're not cute they look like actual pencils which really throws me off and i know it's called an apple pencil but i really didn't need that i didn't get a case for my apple pencil i probably should have because it can't attach to my actual case but it's fine so i'm just gonna plug this into my ipad here's what it looks like just white and it says apple pencil right here just kidding it's not gonna focus on it but it says apple pencil trust me and then it has this lightning connector and i'm gonna connect it to my ipad now okay so i didn't read the instructions on this but i watched my sister do it earlier so i'm just gonna connect it right over here because that's what my sister did and it worked so i have to be in my settings hang on i <laughs> looked at the instructions earlier i have to find them again because i'm stupid remove the cap and plug your apple pencil in when you see the pair button tap it it's not here where's the pair button oh here it is pair i just have to be oh, patient continue 
Use the Apple Pencil to handwrite any text to convert it into type. Give Scribble a try by handwriting some text. You know what? We're gonna pretend like I figured that one out. Done. I did it all. I am successfully prepared. Oops. Oh, I think I'm gonna get the, the Canvas app. Quizlet, Socratic. And I'm gonna get the My Nevada app. Nevada. That's not the one. This one. This is Nevada. That's what it's called. YouTube and Netflix. Because as, and HBO. Oh, and Disney Plus. I forgot that I have to touch ID to install things. Beautiful. And that is all for today, folks. I did reorganize and add another page because I got a few more apps. And I can show you that right now. That is all that my getting a new iPad entails. So thank you friends so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more of me, if you like my face or something, or if you just like the content that I make. And give this comment down below saying what app I should get for my iPad. I would I wanna know. And thank you so much for watching. Love you lots. See you soon. Bye. Also, side note, my sister is still currently watching 50 First Dates. She's never watched 50 First Dates.